Welcome everybody to our last guest of the first uh, episode of Dana Palooza for 2023. As you can tell, we have our lovely ladies uh, returning uh, guest, uh, Liz Stiletto, and our first time guest, the very uh, charismatic, entertaining Batsy Von Crazy. Hi. <laughs> Ladies, uh, welcome to the show. For those watching and future watching, go ahead and support these amazing ladies by checking out their social media. Check out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, also for social media for Batsy Von Crazy, check out her YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and also check out the Gorgeous Girls Facebook page. So make sure to follow, subscribe, like, <laughs> and do all that and support these amazing, talented ladies. Ladies, welcome to the show. <laughs> Hello. 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 Thank you for having us. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> so, first of all, you're very funny. The both of you are very funny. Uh, I enjoyed your video of uh, when you did the Emperor's New Groove uh, and you were doing the llama reference. So please tell me how that came to fruition because I thought that was comedy gold with your facial uh, expressions. <laughs> so she really has crap. It's corrupted me, yeah. whatever side she's on. That side. I've never remembered. Stuff. She really has corrupted me. <laughs> I'm so she really has now. <laughs> yeah. You I like it though. Like <laughs> and then I met her. And then it all went down. <laughs> I love you. You were having fun. So, eh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but we were just at a photo shoot that we normally do for the Haunted Hydro there. And we we're doing one together as our creepy nurses. And uh, then we want to do some TikToks together. And I don't know which one of us had the sound, but we we're just going through random ones and just picking ones. And we went ahead and, just, like I said, had fun. We were left alone. That. Yeah, we have a lot of fun, and everyone's like, "Do you guys need help?" Like, no, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we picked out a body and all that too. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> body. I I just <laughs> he like, gets to see um, everything. <laughs> <laughs> he has he has stories to tell. <laughs> um, uh. When Batsy, when you're talking to Liz and you're doing the Emperor line where uh, <laughs> you're like, you're the criminal mastermind, you know, <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> you're telling that she turned me a llama and, <laughs> and she's just like, no, I didn't. <laughs> That's normally how a lot of our conversations goes. I'm like, I would be I'm so good before you. And then she's like, yeah, that's not my fault. I'm like, <laughs> it blames her a lot, but you know, everyone still has fun, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> or I'll just take oh, it, screw it. <laughs> I used to be such a shy girl. Not yeah, 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 you did. Yeah, you used to be. <laughs> yeah, before, before meeting the GGs and the lovely Liz, I was a very shy and timid girl. Um, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore at all. <laughs> yeah, well, she's definitely she... come out of her shell. Yeah. <laughs> Multiple times. <It> means... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it just means we can see you in all of your amazing glory now. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Is <laughs> your keyboard take off the top? No. <laughs> See, I don't want to get banned on this one now. <sighs> Facebook tried. <laughs> <They failed. laughs> yeah. Not the first time. Not the first time. <laughs> I'm all for free the titties. <laughs> I feel like you should do we one where to. they look. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
It reminds me of the line of a few good men. You can't handle this. You can't handle it. You can't handle it. <laughs> she's got this. She's got this. Good girl, girl. Have fun. Exactly. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of uh, curious. Um, is there a dream kind of like uh horror photo shoot for you where you could pick stuff that you would want uh to kind of <laughs> i see them the wheels are spinning already uh we'll start with batsy <laughs> so okay i'm probably the worst person to ask this because i have like a bazillion but i'm going to choose one of the newer ones i've thought of so I want to do a Miss Piggy cosplay, but horror, and I actually want to get things of latex because it'll be a wearable cosplay and photo shoot to where I can, it'll be labeled what the different meat uh, things are. So like ribs, you know, sirloins, yada, 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 et cetera. Um, but I'll be able to take them off and re-magnetize them back on and just be like this really like just grotesque, but yet sexy, like horrifying pig. And I just want to do that. <laughs> I just want to be a gross pig. You, you, <laughs> I feel like there should be a Kermit going, yeah, you know, just swinging the arms like <laughs> I will make sure she has Kermit to at least one of those truths. <laughs> Strangling him. <laughs> it's a machete portion. <laughs> just have like a thing of Kermit heads like attached to a chain. Like, you want to be next? <laughs> Wear him as a necklace. <laughs> My show now, Frog. <laughs> um, same question, Liz. Ah, usually the one major thing I want to do for a shoe is uh, there's this kind of blood that is really, really stringy, and one, it's really entertaining, and two, it just feels awesome. I just want to be doused in it. And just even like spread my arms and have like wings or stringy blood come from there or so you go like this. It's just I have too much fun. <laughs> I'm just like woo. I just want to be covered in it and just be like in a big pool of it and just be just really sticky and bloody. <laughs> I don't know why I just really do. It's dirty, nasty, and it just sounds so fun and so cool. <laughs> it sounds awesome. Uh... Can't ask that question for me. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would just want to be the guy in the Don't background the and maybe there's, the <laughs> just be the guy in the background and you maybe you just see like this red, like you know, it's just like in every photo. There it is again, you know, just <laughs> like top of that. <laughs> For his series and just keep doing that <laughs> he's always like in the corner of the page or something <laughs> i think that'd be pretty funny <laughs> it'd be an, an on, online gag so uh yes. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um now do you have like some of your favorite horror movies and do they inspire you for any of your photo shoots? Let's we'll start with Liz. <laughs> um, oh, I guess, you know, Carrie would be a big one that would inspire that type of shoot because, you know, just being doused in blood and even seeing that and she was like horrified. I, 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 it's like, control of it like enjoy it like screw them bathe in that stuff they think you're crazy already <laughs> go for it even more alone eventually but it just that would probably be my big use for that but uh um just horror movies and in general a lot of them do inspire a lot of their shoots like beetlejuice want to do a lot of beetlejuice themed shoots so of course that's a big part of it um uh, uh, we've done a lot of the monster makeoff so like the hellraiser when we did like a gender bender version of it 
you know, that was really cool being able to base even more of the character from a movie with that and just changing it up to be different but still be recognizable. So, yeah, a lot of the shoots are all based on just all the horror movies. And um, like I said, it's even when I'm just taking more to the extreme with them and uh, see how far we can go, what we can do, and, and also just have fun with it. Definitely. I, I, I immediately uh, started uh, uh, thinking of, uh, well, first of all, two things. Like when you were saying Carrie, I, I always think of the mother's line, you know, they're all going to laugh at you. And like, I just feel like if you were like doing that, you'd just be like, shut up. And like, you're just doing it anyway. Like, yeah, just... Bring it. <laughs> yeah. More, more. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> blip, blip, blip. <laughs> and yes. oh, I love that you did the the Hellraiser. I immediately think of uh like the Chatterer and like all the different characters and I, I we have such sight yeah. to to show you, you know. So <laughs> Yes. And yeah, uh, and, and I'm really glad you mentioned Beetlejuice also because I have a chance to meet B. Neil who did the makeup of Beetlejuice. So, oh, cool. that is awesome! <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Oh, yeah, I definitely, definitely want to know how that goes. <laughs> My friend said I should go as Beetlejuice and be like, hey, hey, I need a little touch up. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little spot over here. <laughs> Bugs are kind of, you know, seeping through. <laughs> you can see the line. <laughs> All right, let's yeah. ask uh, Batsy. Do you need me it's to repeat great. the question? Yes. <laughs> okay. I got sidetracked. No, it's it's fine. We went on a tangent. <laughs> um, so. Do any of your favorite horror movies kind of like inspire you for like photo shoots? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. And then, so like I'll watch different horror movies because my normally my costumes sometimes end up being like big clusters of just random stuff that I see and I put together. So it's like I took like, I don't know. I would say horror movies have a lot to do with my cosplays, but I don't think there's one single one I can pin out unless I'm doing like a cosplay specifically from that movie. Because like I'll start with one idea and then I'll just brainstorm it till it becomes this monster child that had nothing to do with the original idea. Oh wow, very very cool. My mind's a little blown right now because I need <laughs> to take in, but I, I feel that uh, I enjoy your creative process. <laughs> some people like it, some people are like, I'm not, help me. That's fine. That's fine. Music more inspires my cosplays and also some drag queens. There you go. Uh, uh, is there any specific music that inspires you, certain artist or? Yes. <laughs> so her name is Emily Autumn. She is a uh, electric violinist who bases her whole performance around the Wayward Girls of the Asylums. And her whole stick is like burlesque, entire dancing, and just being absolutely crazy. Yep, it's 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 ringing a bell because uh, the burlesque group we first hear, they used that uh, CD, that Emily Autumn, and that's like where I first heard that. So, but I never knew like the name, you know. So now I'm like, connect. <laughs> Connection has forms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The little hamster on the wheels going. <laughs> We got it. 
Yeah, normally, like, if I'm, like, thinking of certain projects, I will literally make, like, I will listen to the music that has to do with what said cosplay I'm doing with. So, like, if I'm doing a cutesy cosplay, I'm listening to cutesy music. If I'm doing, like, some, like, screwed up, like, asylum, like, madness, you know, I'm listening to, like, weird, like, asylum music heavy metal you know just things that like get me in that mindset and then i just let my head just go and then i break down every single piece and that's how it kind of starts forming and then pinterest i have like six or seven thousand pinterest <laughs> damn pinterest <Yeah. laughs> It's all going feeding in, and then ta da! <laughs> she does amazing, though. She's got a lot of great characters that she's come up with, and her outfits that she makes and puts together. That's like even for the monster makeup, what you did with Kitty, and you did uh, um, uh, the, the, the Venus fly traps and all that. Yes. The poison yes. ivy. Poison ivy, yes. Did you ever eat worms too? We both ate worms. Well, that's a treat for you. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun monster make off because, like, it kind of made me mad because, like, everybody, there was like so many god complex characters, and, like, I had Kitty just cowering in fear and just vomiting up worms, and they're like, nah, you lose. So I'm like, well, fine. Screw you then. Where the judges were even like stepping away from my makeup, they're like, "No, that's gross. That's that's nasty." And She's going for it though. She's going for it. She's all in. <laughs> I have a uh, a a Friday the thirteenth question uh, for you. <laughs> oh no! Because it is it is Friday the thirteenth, so you know I, I have to. I have to ask, but um, it makes me wonder if uh, if you were ever, because they always have the final girl in Friday the 13th, you know, and they normally fight off with Jason, you know, in the ending scene. Um, could, if you were in that film and you were that final girl, would you have a certain way of getting rid of Jason Voorhees? <laughs> Show him a picture of his mother. <laughs> Go ahead, play it <laughs> I pull up the door and I said, like, there, there's your mother back. Get away from me. <laughs> he just goes like this and walks away. <laughs> or, or your mother would be disappointed in you right now. What would your mother think? <laughs> Probably be proud of you right now, but still. What would your mother think? What would she do if she's looking at you right now? <laughs> you make me heartbreak and you tell her you're sorry. <laughs> he, he just he just walks very self-defeated, like the machete's hitting the ground. He's just <laughs> contemplating life. <laughs> Sad music plays, you know. <laughs> that scene That's from great. like Family Guy with Stewie and it's just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh man! That's, that's of course, funny. I'd be the, like the 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 blonde bimbo that would like run, kick him in the balls, and be like, "Oh shit!" and just book it. I am so fucked. <laughs> All right, let's run. We gotta go. That didn't work. <laughs> plan B. Plan B. Run. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy, I need you to talk I, about his mother. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> what would your mother say to that? She's just running. <laughs> Mommy's just the point right now. Get him. <laughs> I, I, I she feel told like you. Uh huh. <laughs> I feel like instead of having a picture, if it was on like a silk screen shirt, you know, it's just it's just wearing it, you know, and like he looks at that and he's just like, <laughs> I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> I gotta regroup, think tomorrow. <laughs> Today was not my day. <laughs> just goes in the canoe and starts rowing away. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sad music into yeah, moonlight. <laughs> exactly. They would never make that movie again. Like it would be the end of it. <laughs> he finally got broken psychologically. <laughs> He's like in therapy or something. <laughs> this mean chick with purple hair. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> How does that make you feel? That's okay. So <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, we just made a, a new feature oh, franchise film. <laughs> I would never. I would. I would. I would probably get killed in ten sec in ten like minutes of the thing. You know, <laughs> like I. I would not make it very far. <laughs> I don't know how long I'd make it in a horror movie because I'd either die really quick or I might make it to the end and then die. I I feel like I wouldn't be a be, be paying attention and then like <laughs> like something like you know and then, and then no. I would do like the very cheesy death and fall like right in front of it. <laughs> and that probably would drag it out <laughs> like make it like a really long time. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, I'd make it like five minutes instead of a minute. I usually get like if anything oh, happened, you're just free. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just miss, like someone comes behind me. I'm like, oh shit. Uh, okay. Or it's like really scary. Okay, let's go. So you know the fight or flight. It takes me a second. So it, I might die really quick, or or depend on their reaction of my time reaction. You know, I might have a chance. <laughs> I, I usually, if something does that to me, I bring up the karate, like the karate kid and just start going into that. <laughs> I feel like I would try to do uh, the crane kick and he would that. just block it and cut. <laughs> <laughs> just chop my leg off. I've actually almost hit people, so I'm just like. <laughs> I've been, a few, like I've been hit a few times by the karate people. <laughs> <laughs> the perks of working in haunted houses. <laughs> ah, oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Thanks for hitting me again. <laughs> I got hit three times by one guy. One walk. Oh my goodness. That's Actually, sweet. his finger ended up in my mouth, and then ended up Ooh. Like <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> yeah, it just tastes pleasant. Did you charge him extra? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, gonna... I got the punch though watching his wife beat his ass. He's like, ah. He's like, yeah, you're doing it. He's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Betsy, can you show us um, the uh, one of your creations behind you? Can you talk about that? <laughs> So this is one of my lovely creations. This is my, I uh, all of them are handmade. Well, the stuffed animals aren't. I I acquired the stuffed animals from different things. Right. Um, it, it doesn't matter where they come from. They just come to me lovingly, uh, <laughs> and I make their faces, and I restuff them, and I, I make sure I make sure that they're well taken care of, and then I test them out. Oh, that's great. Um, well, how much so far. <laughs> do you sell them only in person or they can buy them online? So I only sell them right now in person just because it makes it easier with uh, shipping and all that. Get your faces off. But, um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, thank you. Um, but uh, I do plan on being able to sell them online. I just don't know when yet. So if you want one of the stuffies, you got to see me in person. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> so make sure, because that's the uh, that's the gift that you want. That's the Christmas story right there. <laughs> I love these little creations. I love my creations. So if you want one of the stuffies, Liz, you have your calendars that are available that people can buy online. And they can buy them in person too, right? Yeah, 
you're cutting out a little bit. <laughs> yes, yes. You can hit me up. Uh, you can buy online or hit me up and come down to the tattoo shop and uh, get them from me from there i know right now i have like two of the butt calendars left and i think about three of those the regular ones left there uh, they are not pg-13 so just to <laughs> warn everybody but you know it's always good for the man cave or in your tool box or just anything my hand <laughs> is in one of those <laughs> And, uh, yes. Yeah, we got the the two different kinds there. Uh, like I said, especially this one, the butt one's been a really popular one. This is actually volume two. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I don't got very big titties, but I got a butt, so uh, I use that to my advantage. So everyone loves the hump day, so I do 365 <laughs> days of it. So everybody's been on that. Yes, they are uh, great calendars. I, I have the uh, yes. other one. <laughs> yeah, so if, if you ever want one of these, I do make sure that she does get ahead and sign her hand in it because you know what? It wouldn't have happened for that picture if it was for her hand. <laughs> yep, and currently, because uh, I know because I bought one, <laughs> she is Miss January. <laughs> But uh, it's good. Uh, mine is in the, the hallway. So I feel like when people stop in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it keeps your leg. <laughs> but uh, so um, since I have this wonderful 80s thing, can, <laughs> do you have um, uh, some 80s favorite horror films? We could start with uh, Batsy. Cool. Bad part is I don't know the like the actual time dates of some of the horror movies I've watched. Right now, my favorite it's not a horror movie; it's more of an action movie. But it was called the War uh, the Bronx Warriors. Right now, that's my favorite movie, <laughs> and I know that's from the '80s, I think. But it's not a horror movie. It's like a weird action movie. But it was so bad, it was good. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it when it's so bad and good and has oh, that. Oh, it was so element. bad that they dubbed it in English. <laughs> oh, <an> English movie. <laughs> and Liz. Ah, uh, so gotta just be the beater juice. That's yeah. That's that's definitely my '80s biggie. And uh, I believe that uh, with the Army of Darkness also. So yes, uh, those are my two biggies. Always my all-time favorites. I I can't really think of anything else just because those are always stand out to me. Is Puppet Master from the eighties? Mm, I, I don't think so. I want to say nineties. Nineties. Never mind. Um, mine. Uh, Gremlins, of course. Uh, <laughs> And uh, obviously, um, I also like Critters. I don't know if you've ever seen Critters. Let me add that to my watch list. Yeah, they're yeah. a bunch of they're little monsters, and then they can kind of roll into a giant ball of monsters and like. <laughs> I want to play with one. And I was just thinking, actually, it's like you would just go up and hug it. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, go monster. Oh, monster. That's what I probably die in a creature film because I try and pet it. The, the um, in the third one, that's where Leonardo DiCaprio did his first film was in Critters Three. <laughs> that's where he got his first really? start. Yes. Um, <laughs> but the scene that always cracks me up is they're on a farm. And they decide to bring out weapons, and they're gonna fight the critters. 
and the critters are talking to each other, and they're like, they have weapons, and like, the, 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 there's one that's sarcastic, and he's like, so what? Like, he doesn't care, you know? Like, he's always just, he's very lippy, and he just cracks me up, you know? <laughs> and like, then the guy takes the shotgun and shoots it, and then he kind of like explodes, and then the, the other ones, they just roll away. <laughs> so... It's like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> like, Pretty much. Like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. It's it's hilarious. They just roll away and there, there's like cheesy music that follows them. So <laughs> that's always the best. It's great. It's it's very cheesy. I'll have to send you uh the trailer or anything like that. You get a kick out of it. <laughs> Especially because the guys hunting them, they're called critters, but they call them, you know, the um, Crichtons. You know, they have that accent. <laughs> so it's hilarious. <laughs> but yes. um, so, is there anything else you want to say or promote on Dana Palooza as we wrap it up? Go follow iHeartGore on Facebook. Ah. Yeah. There you go. Liz, anything? <laughs> Follow all the shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that's going to wrap it up for uh, Dana Palooza. I'll be back <laughs> next Friday with uh, another guest. Um, I will have a pinup model, oh, Miss Roro, uh... will be here. Thank you for having us on again, Eric. Out okay. the Dana Palooza channel here. You know, always have those fancy crazy over here. And then we <laughs> list the line also the tattoo shop, true innovation. Ever in need? Follow all the shit. <laughs> Just watch all. <laughs> and also, too, if you do want to see us soon, uh, we've got a convention for Four Hound in March. Thank all you. Right. All right. Uh, I'll be back next Friday with. Uh, three guests, uh, Miss Roro, pinup model. Um, uh, I will have um, from the 80s, Glow Wrestling, the Royal Hawaiian, uh, April Holm, and I will also have pro wrestler Sarah Bubbles. So stay tuned to next week and have a good evening. Bye.